from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening, it's Friday, October 21st, 2016. I'm Ann Gownley. A caretaker who admitted to stealing $259,000 from a 98-year-old woman is headed to state prison for 9 to 48 months. That sentence was handed down by Luzerne County Judge Joseph Sklarowski to 73-year-old Sharon May Jakubowski. She was a caregiver and the power of attorney for 98-year-old Clementine Mouseman of Dallas. The, thieves happen, the thefts happened between 2009 and 2011. Even though she pleaded guilty, Jacobowski maintained she didn't steal anything with her attorney, attributing most of the missing money to poor bookkeeping. Mahanoy City wants to double its earned income tax. Right now, it's at 1%, and it wants to go to 2%. The court filing states that the increase would allow the borough to continue vital services as it emerges from Act 47, the Distressed Municipalities Act. Court hasn't yet acted. A higher EIT is among the emergency provisions allowed under Act 47. Wilkes-Barre City Council has a budget hearing planned. It's November 9th, starting at 6 p.m. Council will review and take public input concerning Mayor Tony George's $47.9 million budget. George is expected to be there. While the budget is balanced, it includes a whopping 30 mil tax hike. Under it, property taxes jump from 121.6 mils to 151.6. That's about $200 a year for a home assessed at $75,000. Council President Bill Barrett says anyone who wants to offer input may and that there will be no sign-in required and no time limit on comments. Shots were fired early this morning in Hanover Township near Wilkesbury. It happened around 1 o'clock near Oxford and Woodbury Streets. No one was injured, but a car had its window shot out. Anyone with information is asked to call Wilkesbury Police or dial 911. The State House and Senate are at an impasse on a bill designed to assist victims of child sexual abuse of the clergy. The bill allows victims to sue up to age 50, but there's a big split on retroactivity. The House bill includes it. The Senate took it out of its version. Senate President Pro Tem Joe Scarnati says the retroactivity clause is unconstitutional. House leadership says it is not. There are only a handful of days left in the session. Well, in 1990, Carmine Swerbolt was diagnosed with breast cancer. Since then, she has been hosting a breast cancer dinner at Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton. Close to 90 people attend the dinner each year and have the opportunity to swap stories and give each other hope as each year passes by. It's just something that they could come and there's a lot of breast cancer survivors here right now. Some are going through it right now. Some have been survivors like myself and we sit and talk and we just have a good time. And we have tricky trays and door prizes and um, last year I raised $3,600 and I hope that we raise a lot more. I just want to thank everybody for always making it possible for me. Cancer kind of taken away my breasts, but it gave me a lot more gumption and strength to do this and never nobody's ever alone the money raised at the dinner goes towards cancer patients at lehigh valley hospital in hazelton swirbel has been an employee at the hospital for 34 years as a cook if anyone is interested in attending next year's dinner you can contact carmine at the hilltop cafe at lehigh valley hospital hazelton Tomorrow is National Make a Difference Day, but one local area is turning it into Make a Difference Week. WYLN's Aaron Harvey has more. Every day you can make a difference, but this coming weekend and next week, you can help celebrate National Make a Difference Week. Even though National Make a Difference Day is tomorrow, the Pottsville Volunteers in Action are celebrating it this week and next. The projects do not have to benefit anyone this week because you should be concerned with the long-term effects of the project. Director of Community Volunteers in Action Pottsville, Janice Johnston, describes the types of organizations that will take part in Make a Difference Week. We have businesses, uh, nonprofits, uh, service groups, children's groups, 
all, everybody, the whole spectrum, individuals from 4 to 84 are participating, and they're doing things like knitting caps for children, um, making activity bags for children. They're doing, they're supporting the vets, uh, food drives, uh, animal engagement. There's a, a, a ton of things that are going on. The Pottsville Senior Center has several projects that will benefit long term. Downstairs what they're doing is they have two projects and some of the, the employees down there are making handcrafted um, Christmas ornaments for the Meals on Wheels recipients. So this holiday season when they're getting their meal they're also going to get a surprise holiday gift. And they're also doing, they're reaching out to the seniors but then they're also reaching out to the youth of the, the county. So they're making activity bags with all kinds of goodies and activities and puzzles and, and uh, matchbox cars, all kinds of things to keep them busy for when they go to emergency rooms with their families to keep them entertained while their families are dealing with the medical issues. The School of Nursing is also trying their best to make a difference in the community. The uh, School of Nursing is making Jared boxes this year. They do that, they've been doing that for quite a while now. And what they do is they assemble these huge boxes of um, games and different things for the children. So when they're admitted into the peds ward, they have something that can keep them busy for days because children do get bored, particularly in a hospital. If you are interested in participating in National Make a Difference Week, you can contact the Community Volunteers in Action at 570-628-1426. For WILN News, I'm Erin Harvey. Thank you, Erin. Time now for a first look at our forecast. It looks like it's going to be a wet weekend in northeastern Pennsylvania, but will there be any chance of sunshine? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with the details. Joe? Yeah, by the uh, second part of the weekend, it looks like the uh, sunshine should return. But until then, we're going to have to deal with the uh, soggy conditions. And it's going to get much cooler across our area, especially by this upcoming weekend. And we're dealing with the rain now moving in. And I'll tell you what, central Pennsylvania has been dealing with a lot of rain earlier. But that rain's moving toward the east. So what does it mean for the next couple of days? Seven-day forecast coming up in a few. And. Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump wants term limits in place for those in Washington. We'll hear from a local congressman and his opponent with their views on this issue. Plus, a local community center celebrated National Lights On after school day with various members of the community and local elected officials. More news, weather, and sports with Eric DiBerardinas is coming your way here on WYLN News. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DeBerardinas and John Eric Poli, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. At All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Ram Power Days and Jeep Celebration event. Stop in today. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Family and friends come from all over the area to enjoy a fabulous dining experience at Graziano's Restaurant. You choose your dinner from a menu that is filled with all freshly made to order entrees. You'll never be disappointed and you'll leave satisfied. Ralph M. Cameron specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. 
Among his ideas to make America great again, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has recently announced his support for federal term limits. Congressman Lou Barletta and his opponent, congressional candidate Mike Marsicano, and both from the local area express their views on Trump's term limit proposal. WYLN's Abby Piskel has the details. With election night right around the corner, we spoke with both Mike Marsicano and Congressman Lou Barletta about their thoughts on Trump's proposal for term limits. Although the proposal has been made, even if Trump were to win office, there is no guarantee that his proposal would succeed. Congressman Lou Barletta, who is supporting Trump's campaign, says that he wants to hear more about Trump's statements about term limits and feels that there is some merit to having a conversation about them. You know, the pros and cons of term limits, uh, obviously, no business wants to throw out a good employee, uh, but at the same time, you know, I think that we can point to people who have been in Washington too long. So there's, there's good points and bad points. Um, you know, however, uh, probably the most uh, dangerous elected official is one that doesn't have to go before the American people anymore. Uh, so, you know, I'd be curious to uh, have that conversation. And, and again, I think there's merit uh, to, uh, to having that conversation. This is Marcy Cano's first time running for Congress, and he said that at the beginning of his campaign, he has been in favor of having term limits. He believes that Congress has a favorability number between 8 and 13 percent, 16 being the best. He feels that the people want term limits, and wants those they elect to go, serve, and come home. Marcicano says that the decision should be based on the needs of the American people. Well, term limits, is, a Senate is uh, one for six years. That's what it should be. A Congress, they run every two years. It should be limited to two terms, four years or six years. That's it. The money today influences the uh, ability for people to get reelected and then gerrymandering on top of that. The people need to pick their candidate. The candidate should not pick their votes. Yeah, this district, Lou Barletta, it goes from Wyoming County down to Shippensburg, almost to Maryland. People in Harrisburg, I've been down there, they do not want people from Hazleton representing them. That has been done to protect Lou Barletta in the 11th Congressional District specifically. It is the big money interest. I'm self-funded. I paid for my own campaign. Okay? People like Barletta and the rest of the people in Washington are funded by federal, not federal, by lobbyists. Earlier in October, members of the Marsicano campaign reached out to the WYLN studios with a proposal to host a debate at the studio along with Congressman Barletta. The campaign manager for Barletta responded to the request saying that the congressman had already agreed to three other debates scheduled for the beginning of November. For WYLN News, I'm Abby Piskel. Thank you, Abby. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is back with a full look at our forecast. Plus, a look at an after-school program aimed at helping the young minds of the area stay active. All that and more, plus sports, is coming your way here on WYLN. Stay tuned. Tri-County Business Machines has been serving the Hazleton area with office supplies and furniture for over 35 years. We are your local Kia Sarah dealer for all your digital Kia Sarah copiers, printers, and faxes. For exceptional reliability, sales, and service, the call to make is to Tri-County Business Machines. Tri-County Business Machines, keeping your office up to speed. Tri-County Business Machines, located at 117 East Broad Street, Hazleton. Phone 459-0754 or visit us on the web at tricountybm.com. When you're looking for a new or used car, truck, or SUV, the Heighton Kia is the place to go. They showcase a variety of vehicles, like the totally transformed Soul and the eye-catching Cadenza, the Kia Optima, not your average mid-size sedan, the Forte lineup, including the Coupe and popular five-door, the Sorento and Sportage, with a bold array of features. Ask about specials and incentives, and you can't beat the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. The Heighton Kia, 21 Blakesley Boulevard, the Heighton. Call them at 610-377-1570. If you're looking for a good pre-owned vehicle, check out BLB for tax time special. Get the best return on your tax check at BLB Auto Sales, a division of Barbush Automotive, located on Route 940 in Harley. Call 570-454-7571. Affordable dumpsters specializing in estate cleanups, general cleanups, hauling, foreclosure cleanups, waste removal, demolition, as well as fire, water, and mold damage. We supply containers of all sizes. Call 570-427-4976.
Well, the rain continues across our area, northeastern PA. We had it out in central PA earlier, moving its way toward the east. And with the rain, it's going to come the cooler temperatures, at least now. Eh, it's not too bad, but it's going to get much worse temperature-wise next couple of days. You're going to definitely notice a chill in the air. And it's going to be feeling definitely like fall like where we should be this time of year, even maybe a little bit below average, and some of those overnight lows will be dropping down into the 30s. So going into high school football games tonight, you know, take the umbrella, take the poncho, take the rain gear, you're gonna need it, and uh, maybe uh, dress a little bit warmer, because it's gonna be a little bit chilly with the rain across our area. On to the graphic for the day, and uh, there you can see temperatures now in the, uh, the 50s for the most part. Uh, and we continue to add on to that number of eight hundredths of an inch of precipitation. And we'll continue to add to that number over the next several hours, even going into tomorrow, because we're still going to have to deal with some leftover rain around for tomorrow and some showers and really won't clear out until we go into the second part of the weekend, that being on Sunday. Temperature wise was pretty nice for this time of year, above where we should be for this time of year. Couldn't quite break 70, but close to it. And then, of course, those temperatures continuing to fall a little bit more now as that rain continues to move through and even had that wind gust of 25 miles per hour. Throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, it's been raining uh, much of the day out in central Pennsylvania. Some locally heavy downpours, flood warnings, flash flood warnings, and just some nasty weather. That's making its way toward the east. So now the eastern counties now starting to see the rain across those particular areas and again it's going to continue to be unsettled through tonight and as we head into tomorrow as well. Here's a look at the sustained winds anywhere from 5 to as much as 15 miles per hour. So going into tomorrow we're still going to have to deal with some morning rain and then by the afternoon hours it'll taper down to some showers across our area and it's going to be noticeably cooler uh, for tomorrow. Uh, you're going to definitely notice the chill in the air on a seven day extended forecast. 43, that's all we're gonna do for tomorrow. And then down to 34 for tomorrow night. Sunday we'll see the sunshine once again, but it's gonna be noticeably cooler than the last couple of days. 52 degrees, 53 for Monday with sunshine mixed with some clouds. And then generally only in the 40s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. There's a chance of a couple of hit or miss showers around for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Not expecting washouts for those days, but those overnight lows generally dropping down into the 30s. We'll have more for you coming up after this break. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Electric Frog Designs, 323 North Hunter Highway, Route 309 Drums, offering full-color banners and signs, vehicle lettering and graphics, campaign signs, promotional products, trophies, plaques and medals, 788-2333. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. A local community center has an afternoon program aimed at helping children with their homework and keep their brains active throughout the year. WYLN's Aaron Harvey was at a big celebration for the program last night and has all the details. While many students tend to go home and play video games after school, students at the Hazleton One Community Center spend their time learning. Yesterday was National Lights On After School Day, which the community center celebrated by inviting various members of the community to take a tour of the facility. 
the community center has various after school programs that keep the students brains on after they leave school. Congressman Lou Barletta stopped by to see how the students spend their time after school. I had an opportunity to, to uh, tour the, the, the school and, and go into the classrooms and actually watch uh, the children uh, uh, learning and what's being done here and I can't stress the importance uh, of HIP and the programs here that are teaching these children. Uh, but there's nothing better to change the direction uh, of someone's life than, than, than helping children learn. and. Uh, you know, watching the smiles on their faces as they were learning in, in, in the after school programs uh, really ma makes you feel good. You know there are good things doing. They want to learn um, and this is exactly uh, what we need to help our children in the future and, and, and change the Hazleton area again through education. State Representative Tara Tuhill says it's great that the students are kept busy after school. I'm excited to be here at the HIP Center. We got an excellent tour from their after school students uh, celebrating today as lights on after school day. Uh, so it's really exciting. They have preschool kids, younger kids. A lot of kids have been coming here for many years, for some of them four years. They've been educated here since the inception of the HIP Center. So it's really great to see the progress. Uh, and these kids are all um, kids that could be home alone, on, on a couch playing video games and they're interacting uh, and still learning after school so it's really great they're being kept busy out of trouble and they're learning the after school students really love the program and the community center the hip center was really fun today we had our after school tutors as you can see in the background and we had lots of special people come today we show them around the center I hope they'll come soon, again. The most important thing, the program is amazing. It's a wonderful place that like, you can learn, do projects, make friends, and it's like a wonderful place that you should come. And, uh, and, I, and I really love my teacher, Miss Pam. When we get out of school, we come here, we eat in the cafeteria. Then when we're done at four, we go to Miss Pam's class. She's the best teacher ever. And, and we do our homework. We got 45 minutes of homework. Then we do projects. We do a lot of things in her classroom. And I love being in her classroom. She's the best teacher ever. For more information, you can call the HIP Center at 570-861-8081. For WILN News, I'm Eric Harvey. And speaking of schools, breaking news, a deal has just been reached according to the union representing professors. About 5,000 faculty members hit picket lines on Wednesday at 14 universities, including Bloomsburg, East Stroudsburg, and Lock Haven. The union announced today that it made concessions to salary and benefits in exchange for some changes proposed by the state. The union said the strike ended immediately after the deal was made. Coming up next, John Eric Poli is in with sports here on WYLN. Stay tuned. It's Oktoberger. The sale so big they named a month after it. Only at Burger Mazda Route 93 Hazleton. If a 2016 Mazda 3i Sport, lease it for only $175 a month. Or this 2016 Mazda 6i Sport, lease it for only $195 a month. And this 2016 Mazda CX-5 Sport, it's all-wheel drive, lease it for only $205 a month. It's Oktoberger. The sale so big they named a month after it. Only at Burger Mazda Route 93 Hazleton. Burger Family Dealerships. Drive with experience. Since 2001, Hazleton Imaging has been offering the best care. A staff that is kind and courteous and a radiologist on site. Hazleton Imaging is less expensive than most hospitals and they offer self-pay pricing. Call Hazleton Imaging today at 570-501-SCAN. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Join me, Erin Harvey, every Tuesday and Thursday for a special series here on WYLN News. I will talk with survivors to hear their stories along with medical specialists to learn how to treat, beat, and prevent breast cancer. Where did the time go? It's already week nine of the high school football season, and week nine actually got started a day early with Myers and Northwest playing last night. Wilkes-Barre Memorial is seeing plenty of action on Thursdays this season. The last time Myers played on a Thursday, they won 50 to six. Let's see if they can keep it up. Here, Myers quarterback, Jason Wilburn. 
throws to the former quarterback, Willie Wallace, but it's Northwest Ezra Judge picking it off. Interception in the end zone. Judge wasn't done just yet. Right before the half on a slant route, Judge with the grab at 7-0 Northwest at the break. They would hold on for a 14-13 victory. Now let's look at our game of the week, which will be broadcast live on WILN tonight at 7 o'clock with Hazleton at home against Dallas. The Cougars got their first win of the season last week against Donegal, and now they have a chance to make it two in a row. The Mountaineers also have one win this season, which came all the way back in week three when they beat Pittston area in a very ugly game. Hazleton will be in the 6A playoffs, and Dallas hasn't been eliminated from playoff contention yet, so this will be a very close battle tonight. Once again, you can see the game live on WYLN at 7 o'clock. With the postseason right around the corner, we take a look at games going on tonight that will have playoff expectations. As always, we start in the Schuylkill League. Blue Mountain, the sixth-ranked team in our power rankings, will be on the road at Lee Heighton. The Indians are 4-4 four and four this season, and they'll try to use their no huddle to upset the 6-2 and two Eagles. Blue Mountain needs to win tonight because they are currently the first team out of the 4A playoffs. Tamaqua will host North Schuylkill in a matchup between two teams in need of a win. The Spartans have clinched a playoff spot, and Tamaqua is still trying to secure a spot. A win can help both teams out for playoff seedings. And lastly, for the Schuylkill League, our number three team, Pottsville, will be at home against Jim Thorpe. The Crimson Tide has had some players banged up, and the Olympians will try to take advantage of that to pick up a win. Both of these teams are postseason bound. Now to the Wyoming Valley Conference. Lake Lehman, and our number seven team in the rankings, will be on their home black turf against Burwick, the team they knocked out of the power rankings. Both teams are coming off, or coming off victories. They're five and three on the year, and both teams are postseason bound. Pittston area will travel to Coughlin. The Patriots can't afford a loss because a loss in a Tunkhannock win will put PA out of the playoffs. Coughlin, on the other hand, they sit comfortably at 4-4, four and four, but they are trying to move up to the fourth seed to get a home game in the postseason. And finally, the big game of Week 9, number 4 Wyoming area on the road at number 2 Williamsport. Both teams are 7-1 and one this season, but only one will leave at 8-1. and one. The Warriors are a disciplined bunch that look to ground and pound their opponents. The Millionaires have an explosive team that can score any time and anywhere, making this an exciting matchup. From volleyball, or from football to volleyball, Blue Mountain Girls Volleyball celebrated like they won the Q League title when they beat Marion Catholic in the semifinals. And deservingly so. The Eagles ended the Phillies' three-year 60-match winning streak the other night. And last night was the championship match against Panther Valley. First set, set point, Jermaine Amber Crombie gets their number called, she delivers. BM taking the first, 25-17. Then in the third, it's Amber Crombie again. This time it's match point. The Lady Eagles make school history with their first girls volleyball championship. Tuesday night's win means nothing if you don't come out and win tonight. It was that simple. Yeah, we broke the streak. That was great. But we wanted to come out. We wanted to get a championship. We felt we earned. Not that Panther Valley didn't earn it as much as we did, but we felt we were a better team. And I'm just so happy for my kids and this program. You know, they truly earned it. That's all for sports. The next, Joe Garbacic is back with a final look at the forecast. Stay tuned. Tura's Auto Sales has a great line of cars and trucks. Every vehicle is serviced, reconditioned, and inspected. Tura's Auto Sales offers you experience, quality, and service. Stop in today, North Broad Street and Susquehanna, West Hazleton. So we got some leftover morning rain tomorrow morning and then by the afternoon hours, some leftover showers. It's going to be very chilly, only in the 40s. Now we're back up into the 50s, some sunshine by the weekend, second part of the weekend and early next week and then back to the 40s that's all we can do for daytime high temperatures a couple of shots of some showers here and there by the middle part and inning part of next week but those overnight lows 
There you can see for yourself dropping down into the 30s, even right at about the uh, freezing point. Well, you know what they say, one out of two ain't bad, so I guess we'll yeah, say Sunday. Yeah, I think so. All right, gonna so pretty much a washout for tomorrow. Well, I mean, we'll get a couple breaks in between. In the morning we'll have the, some of that heavier rain, but then by the afternoon showers. All right, we'll bundle up. That's all I can say. Yeah, the that's sickness sure. is going around. I'm yeah. finally back being sick. <laughs> Paula was great to, to fill in for me and stay away from that cold out there. Have a good weekend, everyone.